we can do that. <laughs> yeah. 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 Alvin, I want to hear from you about a couple things. Mm -hmm. We want to hear your warm-up process for sure. And then your low notes are, of course, legendary. I, I, I know folks would love to understand something about how to improve one's low range. Mm. I, I don't think any of us are pretending we'll ever get down where you can go, but nevertheless, any tips that you can share with us about your experience in the low mm. ranges? Okay, so for bre- uh, warm-ups yeah. first, yeah. I've been able to get away with murder for years. Just God gave me a low voice and pretty much would take six with a mic. Mm-hmm. I don't really sing loudly. Okay. I don't really sing truly out of my range. So I can, I can pretty much get away with, however, as I'm getting older and I'm doing different things, uh, I'm, I'm starting to notice that when I don't warm up, I get this rasp that you hear now. Um, so what works for me is this singing straw with the back pressure. That philosophy, for whatever reason, it, it warms up or goes through a mechanism that I, that I have never engaged before. And it helps me be able to, um, to, to reach new heights. Um, so here's an interesting thing that I've noticed. Recently, I've been singing with some with the LA Opera, and I just, as a you know, in, as a, I guess uh, the stereotype, you would think that there's me, 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 all this stuff you'd be hearing in the dressing room. Very little of that. You hear very little vocalizations in the dressing room. And I talked to one of the lyric tenors, incredible high, just amazing voice. And I said, guy's name is Barry. I said, is it true that you don't warm up at all? He said, yes, I've never warmed up. I said, how do you do that? He says, I never mark my rehearsals, especially my high notes. If you're going to mark something, mark your low stuff. And you'll always know, since I'm constantly singing, what I can do. And I noticed with, with these guys, in our dressing room, you hear constant singing. As we're driving along around, the, uh, around town, you'll hear constant singing. Somebody will sing and somebody will join in. We're constantly warming up. Um, it's just kind of more of a, it's more culture than, uh, than a specific training or we're trying to get somewhere. It's Basically just, we're in that mode. Versus yeah. working. And it helps us <laughs> relax. It helps us to be able to bond with each other and all that kind of stuff. So I've learned a lot of, a couple of different things about myself, um, that, uh, I got to observe physics like everybody else. As far as low notes are concerned, just relaxing, um, it's either it's in there or it's not. Yeah. Um, just, I, I literally, uh, uh, I just breathe this stuff down, but I, but I have to control myself. Even if I did that right now and I was nervous, you would hear it. Uh, okay. And what I've learned about bass singing is when you constrict um, your voice through stress or pressure or whatever it is, the timbre changes. I can always tell young basses They've got this intense intake, you know. You can't blend with the guys or whoever you're with. Uh, it, it jacks up your, your breathing, all that stuff. Relax, relax, relax. If God has put it in there, it will come out. Back to the first question you asked about being a bass with the breathing. I can't keep up with these guys as far as holding notes mm-hmm. like that. Um, they're just, they're just the, the physics. I'm, I'm hitting a note that can't sustain. But if I want to even attempt to get the length that they get, I truly just have to control my volume, control my breathing uh, or as, as, it, as I expel, you know, uh, to be able to do that. It's just about control, relaxed control. Yeah. When you said that, it made me um, think about something that I've never had to 
to really be concerned about growing up in in you know in black church really um you just belt out everything yeah. mm-hmm. um the microphone was just something that was there just because <laughs> really because you were blowing your face off yeah. even though and so what i've learned in this group is yeah. you have to trust your engineers mm. you have to let the mic do the work mm. because if i'm singing i don't care whatever song we're singing if i'm i'm pushing out which also has to do with blending. Yeah. We didn't have to worry about that yeah. in, in, in the church or in the choir. And I was like, really, honestly, because it was just, you just, just go for it. Yeah. But in a group setting, and I'm, my note is the only one, I'm the only one singing this note, and it's important to this chord. Yeah. So if I'm just belting, belting it out and not allowing the microphone to do the work, mm-hmm. then I am gonna run out of air. It is gonna cause me to get fatigued faster. And by the time we get to, to the end of the show, even though I can still hit the notes, it, it, I won't have any sustaining power yeah. because I've, I've let it all out, yeah. you know? Chances are you will not blend. Yeah, oh no, yeah. yeah.